how do we use this? There are a number of ways prime factorization is used. Um, they're primarily used in finding least common multiples and greatest common factors. Uh, greatest common factors, are you familiar with this? What is the greatest common factor? If I have two numbers, let's say I have, for example, the numbers 18 and 24, can someone explain to me what the greatest common factor is and how I find it? Pasco, what do you think? I think it's 6. It is 6, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. How do you know? Well, well, explain to me what it is and what you just did. What is the greatest common factor? Well, I just divided it is, by the largest number. Right, it is the largest number that divides evenly into both numbers. Right? Let's take, for example, right, 27 and 45. What is the greatest common factor? It is 9. Right? Why? There is no number bigger than 9 that divides evenly into both these numbers. Make sense? Okay, let's practice finding it. Let's have some fun. I don't like this part. <laughs> this part? Well, I didn't know. I, I, I learned it for a GMAT, but like, you know, back in Europe, we never, I can remember like, t like learning that kind of stuff. Like the common, and the other one, the LC. Least have multiple? There is some version yeah, of it. Never, where, back, where are you from in Europe? Uh, Amsterdam. Netflix. Amsterdam. Yeah. I never went to high school. I went to university in Europe for two years. Which never went uh, in Warsaw, in Poland. I never went to high school in Europe, but I'm sure you're taught math very differently than yeah, you're taught yeah, in the yeah, States. So, did you go to high school here? Yes. And you also? Yeah. So, this is familiar, <laughs> right? <laughs> Basically, here's the thing, by the way. One of the key differences on this test is this. You need to have really basic, very high numerical fluency. You have to have it. If you don't have it, you will ruin your chances of getting a higher scoring range. This is a key issue, by the way. Right? I can't stress this enough. Greatest common factor. Let's play. Right? <laughs> Here we go. Um, 14 and 42. What is it? What is it? Uh, 7. No. Oh. Seven. 14 itself. 14 divides evenly into 42. Three times. Right? Marissa? Um, let's see. 18 and 30. What is it? Greatest common factor. 6. 6. Um, Linson. Uh, 12 and 20. What is it? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, Pasco, let's see. Uh, 25 and 40. What is it? Five. Five. Mm -hmm. um, Marissa, let's see. Uh, 21 and 35. Seven. Linson, um, let's see, let's see, 15 and 20. Five. Five. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more round, make sure we know what we're doing here before we go on. Greatest common factor, let's make it a bit harder. Uh, let's see, let me think for a second. 52 and 91. Falco? That's an odd one. 52 divides evenly. If we prime factorize this, what do we get? Uh, By the way, in case you want to know, the greatest common factor is the largest prime factor common to both of them. Or exponential form common to both of them. 52, 13 times 2 squared, 13 times 7, the answer is 13. Mm 